Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to enable custom themes in Windows 7. So I'll give the link to in the description to this site, um, and you want to download this one. And then once you've done that, you should get um, a zip file like this. Extract it and open it up. You have two architectures here: the x86 and x64. If you're 32-bit, run this one. If you're 64-bit, run this one. So right click and go to run as administrator and select um, OK and here it says this OS needs to patch three files. Three files has been patched, zero files need to be patched. That's because I have already done this. If you haven't it will say the opposite, it will say zero files has been patched and three files need to be patched. <coughs> and then you just go patch, patch, patch and then you're done. But um, as you can see here, I have three restore buttons. Um, the restore button will be greyed out um, when when you've done this, when you're doing this, and the patch will be available for you to click. Once you've done that, restart, and you'll be able to use custom themes like mine. Mine um, disables those uh, annoying diagonal lines on the taskbar, and when you do um, a arrow peak. So if I open up my computer. If you can see just from the bottom, kind of removes those lines. So yeah, that's pretty much it. How to enable custom themes in Windows 7. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like our videos. And thanks again.